the best part of the movie is the fact that these people, I cannot oversell how incredible these people are, like the actors, the performers, Kenny, the dancers, the crew. It w it's like a magic land. It's like a, it's like a surreal alternate reality that I get to work with all of these people because they're so good to me and so kind. Um, definitely my love of fashion. Evie is a total fashionista. Ama la moda. Y yo también amo la moda. Y también amo su mensaje de, de girl power. Para mí siempre ha sido muy importante ser esa niña that girls can look up to. Um, and Evie definitely has a beautiful story of girl power. Y me parece algo muy importante. Me siento muy honrada que puedo contar su historia. The most difficult scene to shoot was probably the musical number is going down because there were so many cast members in it and also the set was so intricate that we were all like kind of bumping into each other trying to you know get to our positions and do everything but it turned out great. He's a really smart, um, really mature for his age I think. You know he sort of comes into his own in the second movie and really you know figures out um, how he can contribute to the group and in what capacity. Um, and he, you know, maybe he's not the biggest or the toughest or the, uh, you know, I don't know, fastest, what's another? <laughs> but um, he is sort of um, good at bringing people together. Um, and uh, he sort of figures that out while he's doing it, which is kind of cool. But um, yeah, he, he's, uh, he's sort of becoming a, a, a big part of the group. If Trey was a real person, yeah, I think he'd be my friend. I think we'd hang out. We'd be in the same uh, friend circle, for sure. I'm gonna say Ursula. I have really? to be loyal to my mom, okay? <laughs> Disney villain is Jafar. Because oh, he turns really? into a giant snake. He could actually be in Jungle Book. He's a giant snake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I think my favorite villain would be Scar. I'm not lying. My favorite Disney villain is Maleficent. My favorite princess? Mm. Uh, Ariel. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> favorite princess is probably Princess Tiana. Uh, yeah. I would say, uh, honestly, like mine is a little weird, but I really like the Jungle Book. The film has so many beautiful messages. Um, I think in Descendants 2, Evie goes through a really beautiful journey. Ha cambiado muchísimo de la primera película y crece muchísimo. Es, es independiente, es inteligente, siguió sus sueños, pero además está como en un afán de tratar de olvidar de dónde vino, de la isla, la isla de los perdidos, de su pasado. Kind of forget who she is because she's ashamed. And in the story, she realizes that at the end of the day, the most beautiful thing in the world is to be who you are, that there's beauty in our differences and um, that we have to be unafraid to just be ourselves. Yeah, yeah, there's so many messages. Each character, really each character has their own message. I feel like Jay's through this movie is, uh, so he's the captain of this sport team called Swords and Shields. In the rule book, it says only guys can play the, the okay. game. Um, Lonnie, the daughter of Mulan, comes around and shows shows herself worthy to be on the team, but it's against the rules to have a girl on the team. So he really has to decide between whether or whether or not he wants to break the rules, possibly losing his captain title and being kicked off the team, or uh, you know, or if he's going to be like open, you know, if he's going to be open to change or sticking to tradition, he has to decide between the two. So that's a uh, having an open mind, I guess, is um, learning to have an open mind. Is Jay's kind of um, battle through the movie, I guess. Le diría que que nunca, que nunca, nunca se rinda, que sigue, sigue eh, siguiendo sus sueños y, y que aproveche cada momento que la vida es única y tenemos que vivir cada momento. I would say, be strong, have tough skin, and make sure you really love it because it gets hard sometimes. It gets hard, there are long days and times when you're just tired and you want to sleep or go home, but the love for it will get you through it. So make sure you love it. There's, I don't think there's ever been a day since I started this journey, this career path, and what has become my life 
around those like parameters. I don't think there's ever been a day that I didn't feel that or like I didn't stop and have a moment of like, and I thought about that actually. I was like unlocking the door. I was just like putting the keys in the door to my apartment and I was like, I, there, there is no limit to like gratitude and happiness and expressing that. And I think it's like a human thing to think that once you reach a certain level, you'll become bored or unhappy or dissatisfied. But I feel like such overwhelming gratitude and I never take it for granted. I would go to Disneyland without a hat and sunglasses. Perfect. That was easy. <laughs> Man, that's a great question. I don't know what I would do. I would... That's really difficult. That's really difficult. I would say uh, something in a really big crowd. Like, uh, maybe I'd like go to school for a day. I know that sounds lame, but like, I haven't been to school since sixth grade. So that, that would kind of be like a weird thing to experience again. I want to like think about that for a really long time. I know we don't have time, but like that's awesome. Sure. That's a great. That's a great when question. When you have, when you discover the answer, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's I'll a later. great question. Ha sido um, a plus. But but but. If you're gonna go big, you gotta go go yeah. go big or go home. You know. Yeah. yeah. I agree. So you're leaving the drink. Uh, um. <laughs> One at a time. I'll tell you that much. But no, she wasn't even <laughs> coming here, and then I was like, I'm not lately. We took her out. <laughs> yeah. so I was blonde underneath my blonde wig. <laughs> but, uh...